really got you good. No worries, just uh, hang in there for a second. There. Good news. Your armor kept you mostly in one piece. So, quick update. This isn't a simulation. We're really on a ginormous spaceship. And the ship's been taken over by... Ooh. Now what are you two little gnats up to? This is to be mine. The first of them. Okay, time to get away from all these tentacles and prying eyes. This might feel a bit weird. What's happening guys and welcome to a totally new perspective. If you've been watching my other videos this is clearly not a top down world builder but also for ARK players out there this is ARK Genesis Part 2. Now, this is the final DLC released, which is the finale of the Ark story. So everything from now has been building up to this, which is actually really exciting. Now, I believe this is not a simulation anymore. This is us in flesh and bone so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful on the respawns and also you might notice that we've spawned in wearing an absolute full set of tech armor which is not unheard of pretty much in arc now that's what the cutscene makes me believe anyway that we're in the real world um, you've obviously seen it, you've seen the start of the video, and you've probably already watched it from other creators as well anyway. Right, anyways, I hope you will join me in getting to grips with this surviving in the Ark Genesis Part 2. And let's just add in a little bit of the electric boogaloo as well, shall we? Anyway, <laughs> oh, it feels so good to be back in Ark. I have not played Ark in probably a good fair few months, months at least. So I'm going to be a little bit rusty, I'm going to be having to learn the ropes again, but also I haven't really been following much of the storyline. I've watched some of the cutscenes from other videos etc, but generally I haven't actually done much in the way of the story. So this will be a good one for us to kind of get to grips together and just to sort of work through it you know start from the fresh it's a it's a brand new dlc let's let's start with a brand new us shall we right back in a second right kicking off this new series we've got a fair few mods in this S setup so let's go through some of those now at least the ones i can remember so we've got the advanced spyglass, we've got better waypoints, which we'll pop one down now actually. So let's just add a waypoint saying spawn. So this is exactly where we spawned. In this game it doesn't really matter much, but we can always just create one anyway. And then that will always show up to be where our spawn was. This is the original, this is where we first set feet down onto Ark. Now, uh, let's go and have a look around. This is a completely new map to me. I have not looked at anything about it. All I know is that we are in, again, a ship uh, which is being taken over, basically, by Rockwell. So we have to do missions, etc., to try and defeat them. Now, Again with the mods, I have ultra stacks, so we can pick up one rock and that will collect us five. At the moment I didn't want too quick of a start, so 
five seemed reasonable to me. We might turn it up later or we might actually turn it down, especially when we start getting all of the dinosaurs and stuff. We're, we're probably going to have more resources than we are going to know what to do with. But let's grab some batch and wood. There we go. Right. Let's. Oh, I've also got the automatic engrams mod, so that will make sure that we don't need to go into our menu and unlock all of the engrams. We can just do it, you know, right from the beginning. Right. Although, why hasn't anything... Ah, I know why nothing's unlocked. We haven't even leveled up. So I have tweaked some of these... Uh, stats so that we can get a little bit more weight and stuff probably going to turn some of those down though because they seem really overpowered especially seeing as we're trying to go for a little bit more of a, a normal start yeah okay, some more of those and get some berries as well but pretty much so far what i've seen is all of these plants are harvestable which if you've played previous arcs before, they haven't been. Some bushes you wouldn't be able to harvest, some you could. Pretty much all of these you can nab and you can have for yourself. Now what's down by this water? Obviously we've got the tech suit on so we can literally just bop around all over the place. No matter where we want to go, we can go. Which is very strange because we can also go into the water and stuff. Which we then don't have any oxygen, <laughs> which is going to create uh, lots of opportunity for exploration around all over the place. So we've got this. Ooh, that looks cool. What's that? Let's have a look. Whee! There you go. Up, up, up. Please. Up. Let's go up. Yo. Is it? Can we get in it? Oh, we can get in it. Oh, wow. Okay. Fine. That's cool. So in the buildings in Genesis Part 1, you couldn't even get into them. Or at least you couldn't get into most of them. So actually being able to get into something like that is actually really cool. Right. Over here again now. So this episode is just going to be a little bit more of an exploration episode. We're going to get used to the map and see what we can find. I know there's obviously new dinosaurs and stuff all in this. Uh, it's dinosaurs or creatures? Probably creatures, really. They're not really dinosaurs that they release anymore, are they? They're all weird and wonderful. But uh, yeah, we'll go and have a little look around and see what we can see. Now, if I bring up the map, this is the map. So we've got... Uh, so I guess that's that wall over there. I'm pointing towards the screen. What an idiot. So that's that wall over there. You just see it in the background. And then that's the big main dividing wall, which looks like it halves the map. And then they look like there's tunnels go between them. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's go and have an aerial bird's eye view. We go up. There we go up. Oh, yeah. Let's send us up. I think so. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we've got so many structures all over the place. We've got a load of those little round cylindrical things that look a bit cracked. There's our spawn. If we keep going up and up and up and up, nice little waterfall. That might be a really cool place to build, actually, on the waterfall itself. I don't really see many really flat places. Yeah, let's just hover here for a second. So there's one really flat place, or at least it looks flat from over here, over there, where I'm looking, right in the middle of the screen. There's another one there. And that's about it. All of this is quite hilly. Yeah, although being next to that lake might be quite cool. Hmm. 
let's head over this way and see what we can see. See if it is actually flat or if it's just the map being a bit of a, a weird glitching thing. I do love the fact that you can use your tech suit. That is actually really, really, really useful. I've never had a tech suit before. <laughs> In all the times I've played Ark, the countless hours that I've played on it, nearly over a thousand, I think. Uh, I've never had all the tech because I, I kind of stopped playing properly when the tech suits came out. Right, let's drop down here. Now, because we've got a tech suit, literally, we cannot... Oh, incoming! Oof. That was close. <laughs> um, we cannot take full damage. So we can literally just jump around all over the place and fall off things to our hearts are content. Now these are some of the new creatures. They are like a bit like a flying squirrel with a platypus and maywing. And what they can do is they can glide around but also they can slide along the floor which is really quite cool. So we'll, we'll definitely tame one of those at some point and we will use them. They can also be used to store babies as well. So you can go around and collect your own babies or if you were that way inclined, you can steal other people's babies, which is not what I recommend. Don't do that in real life. Oh, excuse me. Was, was I in your way, Mr. Segastorus? Hmm. Right. I think we are going to build a little bit of a starting platform down here at least just so that we've got somewhere to sort of call home it doesn't look very hostile and it is very flat so this is where we're going to start and i will be back once we've kind of got a first foundation down let's say There we go, that is home sweet home for now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's literally just a platform. Oh well, you know, things can only get better, clearly. So let's see if we can build some structures, uh, storage at least. Let's, we've got a storage box. Do we have a cabinet? No, we've got a campfire. Let's build a campfire. And... Let's, that's not how you spell storage. Let's build a storage box just for now. 18 points available. Yeah, I definitely need to try and... I mean, I think I'm on the normal leveling uh, stats, actually. Like, all the experience is just normal. So, I don't know why I'm leveling up so much, but clearly making wooden foundations is, is beneficial and profitable. So if you want to level up quickly in Ark, there's my top tip. Build foundations. Right, let's turn some fortitude up. I know we've got our suit on, but we'll just see how it goes. Uh, right, let's pop these in. So, no, that's a foundation. There you go, storage box. Let's just pop this here for now. We can always move it later possibly and then a campfire just out there we are lovely right so what do we not need in our inventory we don't need all of the skins so let's transfer those over ah we can't oh yeah we can there we go get rid of those we don't need them not at the moment anyway Oh yeah, we've got a chibi. Let's put that on our ourselves. Where does our chibi go? There you go offhand. What are we going to name our chibi? Let's have a little think. Let's call him for now. Or her mini doll. Aha! Yeah, little chibi. And that's a Noglid, so that's one of the new creatures in the DLC. And what they can do is they can basically mind control any creature that you throw them at, or you can control them and you can walk to them. It's called like Brain Hunt or something. And funnily enough, when you detach them, they just 
instantly kill the creature that they're riding on. So it's it's contentious whether or not you'll actually be able to just fully um, destroy like gigas and stuff in one hit because you could just attach them, detach them, and they'll die, which is yeah quite weird if you ask me. Right, let's go and have a look around. Where do we want to explore? Let's have a look at the map. As I said, today's just going to be sort of more an exploring uh, episode. And then next episode we'll get into actually probably collecting or taming our first creature. Whee! Let's have a look through here. What's through here? Oh, uh, it's one of those like sentry bots. I don't even know what its name is. I'm brutally honest. Let's have a little look. A uh, defense unit. There we go. It's a defense unit. Just the attention to detail that's gone into this map is actually fantastic. So you've got all of that down there. That's all water. I think that's all submerged as well, so all of that down there you can actually go and explore. We'll, we'll obviously check that out a different episode, not today. That is not for today. Or should we do? Should we go down there? Should we go and, and do the world record dive for Mark? Yeah, go on. Why not? Geronimo! Ow, hit the bottom. <laughs> Oh, that's annoying. What's that all about? I can't see anything in here so far. Why are there bubbles in my face? Get the... Mm. No, I don't like that. Why are there bubbles? Things have got to like, swim around like this. Even then there's bubbles in my face. I can't actually see anything down there. It's just a big trench. What is that? Have a little look. What does it do? Ooh. Where are we going? Who, who did it? Who do, who do where? Oh, okay, so it's a teleporter. But where did it teleport us to? The transhumans. Oh! for that puzzling interlude, Helena. Uh, okay, I'm thoroughly lost now. Where were we? Were we down there in that water? I know we'll see where home is because we've put a marker down. It's over there, but... Yeah, hmm. What's over here? platforms. Okay. Let's go up again. So that's kind of cool. So through the sky you can kind of see the hull of the ship. And just over there by the bottom of the uh, thing, where my cursor is, you can just see 125. That's quite cool. So obviously, everywhere before has been like a, a dome on a planet, whereas this is inside of a ship. So I'm guessing that the, the sky is kind of leaking through and you can see the external part of the ship, which is actually really weird. But hey, hey, I'm sure we'll get used to it. What is that beautiful tower over there? Let's go and have a look at that big boy. Coming in for a landing. Clear the docking stations. Oof. Here we go. We did it. 
go. So big. The map is huge. Is that all painted on? It is painted on. <laughs> is that the end of the map? Yeah, that'll be the end of the map. That's all painted on. It's like, oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's not like we can see all the support trusses. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at the other side, shall we? Let's go across and I'll catch you in a second. Okay, so we're down in the sort of lower area. And, oh, it's quite dark. There we go. Let me turn that around. So, I, I think... If you look on the map, you can see those sort of tunnels with the arrows pointing. I think what we've done is we've found one of those. We've kind of gone down nice and low, and there seems to be this sort of entrance going through. I thought there was one up there a little while ago, but it didn't really seem to go anywhere. So this must be the way that we need to be heading. Now, if we turn the uh, gamma up, how do I, there we go. So, gamma three, there we go. And let's head through, let's see if what, we'll see what we can see in here. Very foggy, that for one. Okay, there's so much attention to detail in the map making. Okay, we're, we're heading out to what looks like a space. What is this all about? Oh my! Look at those! Oh wow! Can we go out there? Hello, can we go out there? No. I want to go through. How do we get through? You have to go through the blue. Is that a force field? Go through here? Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Are they the, uh, what people have been calling the space dolphins? Can I have a look? I don't even know if they're going to be friendly or not. Hello? Hello? Are you friendly or are you going to kill me? Can you imagine riding around on one of the ones with the green on it? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think they're friendly. <laughs> I don't think they're friendly. <laughs> no. No, they definitely seem to be coming this way, don't they? Let's see if we can get through here and see if they'll continue chase us. That purple one still wants us. Oh no, it's given up. Well, we'll come back and have a look later. So you notice that inside there it's all uh, artificial gravity or, you know, no gravity is what I meant to say. Ooh. Scanning for habitable worlds. Oh. So someone said previously that this area changes every couple of hours. Let's have a little look what's actually over here. Because I think you can gather different resources from these different zones in between the two maps. I know we said we were going to have a look at the other side, but this just seems like a logical thing to do while we're in here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. What have we got? The oil? It is oil. Let's have a little bit of that. Not going to be a lot of oil, but. Sounds better for getting oil. No, definitely pickaxe. <laughs> We've got oil nodes, that's quite cool. So we know where to get oil now if we need it. And 
what are these white stones? Metal. Ah, oh, that's so cool. As I said, I think these change every seven, not seven hours, every 12 hours. In game, I think it's every midnight, the map changes. So I don't know if if we would be stuck in here, what would happen? Would it change around us or would we die? I, I guess we're gonna have to sacrifice ourselves to the space gods and, and find out at some point, aren't we? Well, this seems to be going on forever. That's fine. Let's uh, see if we can get some more. Oh, we've... Ooh, where are we off to? Like zero gravity. Let's have a look over here. Is it just oil? Uh, yeah, is it just oil and metal, or is there other stuff? No, it just looks like oil and metal. Okay, cool. Right, let's head back over to, uh, I don't know, the bridge. And let's go and have a look at the other side of the map. More space dolphins. Oh, we've got to try it, haven't we? We've got to try it. Come on. Have a look. Come and follow us, please. Hello, space dolphins. Oh, they even make the noise of a space dolphin. Ow. That hurt? Or. It just said pet. Can we pet them? <gasps> oh, we can pet them. <laughs> they just knock us all over the place. Oh, that is so cool. We are definitely taming one of them later. Right, I'll uh, be back in a minute once we're on the other side of this bridge. Right, got to the entrance of the next sort of map and we've come across these mushrooms. These are kind of what were in the, is it Aberration map? The one that was underground with the... Uh, I think they, they, that was the first map that had all the mutated dinosaurs, if I remember rightly. I'm pretty sure it's Aberration. Anyway, so you can collect, let's have a look at the entry, you can collect these aquatic mushrooms. Uh, you, you've probably already know those. We're leveling up really quickly. I might need to restart my game and, and turn the experience down, I think. But we'll, we'll continue on for now. Even if I have to turn it down to near near zero later on, we can then always pump it back up again if we need to. So these are just those, fine. We've also got rocks, fine. Oh, these are cool. Uh, uh, little glow tails. Ah, level 114 as well, he's pretty, pretty cool. We've got taming turned up to 10 times, by the way. Are those trees? They might be trees. Uh, smelly dinosaurs. What have we got going on over here? Reminds me of all those glitches in the Genesis simulation. Creepy. Unnatural. Aberrant. Go away. Go away. We've got a nice source of chitin. Always useful. Right. Hello. <laughs> oh, why am I so slow? What's. Ah, spider! You tranquilized. Uh oh. No, 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 no. No, no, I don't like this. I haven't got any stamina. Okay, so this seems a lot more dangerous. Plus we use stamina to use our uh, suit. 
Okay. Oh, that's a Titan Boa. Dead one, anyway. Can you get some higher than me? Yeah. I'll do. This place definitely seems a lot more risky. Let's have a little look around. Just before we head back home, and probably call this episode here. There's a dialogue. Ah, oh, not more bugs. Go away. I don't want to talk to you no more. Although, nice source of chitin. <laughs> Deja vu. Alright, let's put this axe away. Have a bit of a fly around, see what we can see. Yeah, the suit uses stamina. Yeah, this is definitely more of a mutated zone. You've got spiders all over the place, tranquilizing things. You've got item boas, Spinosaurus over there. What are those plants? Those plants are moving. Those plants are actually moving. What are they? Are they moving? Yep. They're like, like weird Venus fly traps. Put him, put him. Oh, Dilo. You want to die, Dilo? The mirror is that Dilo bigger? Is it bigger? What are these? Oh, jungle wood. Not one of those. One of these. Like a weird scorpion Venus fly trap. Ah! <laughs> it's coming! Ow! Get off! <laughs> oh dear. Very scary around here. Right, I'm going home. Which way's home? This way's home. What? What? What happened? Oh no. We knocked out. Oh, I'm. Oh. Uh, uh, is it going down? Can we still eat stimberries while we're. No, we can't. Uh oh. This could be us dead. Hmm. Uh, anything I can do? Oxygen's going down. Why is my oxygen going down? Am I apparently under the water? Well, this might be a very quick way of getting home. <laughs> There's no way we can do anything because the spider's tranquilizing us. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I think we just got told off by Helena. <laughs> uh, right. Let's respawn. Yeah, I want to respawn in a random location, please. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, good. We do spawn back in our tech suit. That's actually good to know. The issue being now is we need to go back to our death and go and get all of our stuff back. I'm going to do that later. I'll do it in a minute. Right, anyway, let's go and find our home. And then we'll call it here, I think, for at least today. I'm going to continue playing afterwards, so episode 2 is probably going to be out reasonably soon. But I can't guarantee it. We've got quite a lot going on at the moment. We've got Planet Zoo, we've got City Skylines, and now we're going to be playing a bit of Ark as well. Just to, you know, spread the time out. Um, One of the 
difficulties I've been having in this game is keeping up with all of the updates on the mods. So at the moment we've got a few in, but we're probably going to expand that a little bit later, especially when we start specialising in things that we want to do, such as breeding, etc. But at the moment it's pretty bare minimal. But every time we go to play, another update has stopped working or, you know, whatever. So, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Anyway, we're home. We haven't got anything in our inventory, though, because we died. Oh, well. Right, thank you for watching. Oh. Hello, fight. Go on, Anki. Go on, you can do it. Reckon. Knock him out, at least. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching, and yeah, if you've enjoyed the content, it's definitely going to get better. We're going to be doing more things, taming dinosaurs, and we're not just going to be wandering around aimlessly talking to ourselves. So if you are looking forward to it, please make sure that you subscribe, click the bell so you know when the videos are coming out. If you've liked this one, then put a like down on the video below, and if you could comment on what dinosaur or what creature you would like us to try and tame first we'll we'll see what we can do It'll probably be one of the sort of lesser useful creatures but we'll we'll, we'll go from there we'll see right oh, dialo's after me now right i'll catch you in the next one if i survive this ah.